in 2021, we made the 36-hour transit through the ghostly international airports of Australia, Tierov and Armenia to rescue the troopy and finally bring it home. With a dimming light at the end of the tunnel, time was ticking on the recovery as hard COVID border closures rolled on. We owe a huge debt of gratitude for the significant amount of people who assisted in making this reunion possible. And to you, we say thank you. One lady in particular is this lady, Sandra, who acted as an incredible guardian for the troopy for the past 18 months. Hitting the ground running, we had a fair bit of work to do to get the troopy ready for the final leg of our journey and out of Armenia before permits expired. As Joel just mentioned, I've been busy for the last six days now working on the troopy. When we got it back, it wasn't in the best shape then, which was a long time ago now. And now it's been sitting here for, this will be the third summer, um, two winters. And the, it does get pretty hot here in the summer. It's about 40 odd summer and about negative 20 in the, in the winter. So the elements, it's been outside too, so the elements haven't, haven't um, been too kind to it. So uh, there is a lot of wear and tear on it, um, in addition to the, um, just the general shape, which we did receive it back in. So. All the cabinetry was um, all over the place and parts of it were destroyed so we managed to put all that back together. I've had to redo the floor, that was all damaged. Also had to do a full service on it, dropped all the fluids, uh, redid the filters, gone under and greased everything as well. Um, everything seems to look okay so hopefully when we take it for a drive it um, performs as it should as well but it um, Sandra's been kicking it over every month so we had no problem starting it. I flushed the tanks out um, with um, and put some diesel cleaner in it too so um, hopefully we don't have any diesel problems. I've also been making the most of, uh, Jolly's been finishing some uni assignments so I've had a bit of extra time which has been good so I've done some little things which I've wanted to do for a while now which put a tap in here so I can run a shower off there out here which I'll show you another time and also to get some water when we're cooking. Um, and I've got some, I bought some lights too, so when I get another five minutes, so I'm going to put some lights up under the awning. We do have lights, but I wanted something um, which is hardwired in. The uh, roof struts as well, which hold the roof up, they were um, just destroyed. I don't know what those guys did to it, but the roof wasn't able to self support. So yesterday we brought it back into here and rigged it up to the roof here and lifted it up with ropes and replaced the struts with some new ones that we brought over. So. It's fully functioning now, which is great. We had our first night sleep in back in it last night. And thankfully we um, have a good view to look out to and wake up, which was, uh, which was uh, yeah, a good start after such a long time away from it. The reason we had to come now was because um, in the Eurasian Customs Union, which is Russia, the Stans, um, and uh, Armenia, they're, they've been extending the permits to stay here for foreign vehicles. So there's a lot of other people like this This um, 79 here is from New Zealand and these two are European. Um, so they've been extending the temporary import permits because of COVID, um, but 30th September, that's it. So we have been granted permission to come here. I know that's a bit of a controversial thing at the moment, but thankfully we were able to make it. and. But part of that being allowed to come was we have to go for three months or longer. So from here, we're going to keep heading east to where our original um, destination was going to be. And we'll ship out from there. So we're hoping to get there around December. But flights and global freight and everything is pretty volatile at the moment. So as we, we had heard about and we've now found out that our flight home, which was going to be in about three months, has already been cancelled. So um, we're just going to play that by ear. And if we have to stay longer, we have to stay longer. But um, that's a bridge we'll cross and try and work out over the next few weeks on how we play that. So, but we're just thankful to be here, thankful to have the trippy back, and uh, we're looking forward to showing you a bit of Armenia over the next few days. I do have one other thing to do with the trippy, which <laughs> um, is a pretty big one, so I'll show you that too when we just gotta head down to the workshop and get that and do that work. Just a bit easier down there, and um, give the trippy a bath because it's well and truly overdue. The tail shaft looks like it's picked up by a forklift. As you can see here. That's supposed to be straight. So that wouldn't last too long like that. It, um, it's not necessarily going to break, but it puts a huge amount of strain on, on your diff and, and the gearbox, and eventually just the vibrations destroy it. So. Lucky that we knew about this and we've got the new one.
train tamer one down here, which I'm gonna throw on. These, managed to get these ones loose. These nuts up here, I think are gonna be a little bit more difficult, but relatively straightforward job. Yeah, Got the new shaft in now. Uh, I've just done a quick look over everything and everything else seems to be how it should be. This we'll looks like so fancy and new compared to that, but. Yeah, so grease that up and then um, we'll just grease everything else and we'll get out of these guys here. Yeah. So we're heading off today and hitting the road again, which is very exciting. Um, so we're gonna go and check out Gekhard Monastery first this morning and then Garni Temple on the way through and then we're going into Yerevan to do our PCR test for Georgia which is the next country we're going to and then we're going to go and camp next to Mount Aragat um, which is just a little bit north of Yerevan um, but yeah so it's been awesome staying here um, this is the area as we've shown you before of where we've been getting the troopy back up to scratch so I'll just go for a walk and I'll show you the rest of the guest house. It's an absolute awesome spot. So I'll show you in a second. Mark's just doing a little work for Sandra on her car. Hey Mark. Good day. <laughs> Had a loose battery. Armenia is our first Christian country after nearly two years on the road and this is the UNESCO listed Gekhard Monastery, originally built in the 4th century by Gregory the Illuminator. The complex consists of elaborate natural and dugout caves and got its name Gugardavank, which translates to Monastery of the Spear, as it apparently housed the spear which wounded Jesus on the cross. So we just finished checking out the monastery and we've come for lunch. Um, there's a restaurant like just out the road from it. So we're having some chicken and beef kebab and just a, a like a, they call it a summer salad. So it's just like some cucumber and, and tomato and then some lavosh. So it's a pretty traditional Armenian dish and it's delicious. And some wine, of course. Armenia is actually one of the oldest wine growing regions in the world. So I'm pretty happy about that. Heading north is a first century Greek temple known as Garni Temple. Beside the temple is Garni Gorge, which is carved out by the Gulch River and lined by this epic rock formation of basalt columns. up here it was 
very scenic drive. Um, I just picked this spot on top of this little hill. I think we're going to camp here tonight, enjoy the sunset. There's not much of a view at the moment because of the time of year. There's like a lot of dust pollution, so yeah, you can't really, really see too far. Some crazy old Soviet buildings up there. Yeah. Massive. Um, and yeah, so there's like, just up there, there's a restaurant um, and a dam. Reservoir. Reservoir. But, yeah, yeah, we're gonna set up. from around 36 degrees at Sandra's, um, just near Yerevan, to here, which is about 3,100 metres now, and it's currently sitting at 19 degrees. It's actually a lot colder, but I don't think the thermometer's caught up yet. And yeah, beautiful, but cold, which is actually quite refreshing because it was getting pretty warm down, down at the bottom of the mountain. We uh, beautiful backdrop to uh, Mount Ararat is that way, somewhere. Somewhere over there. Yeah, somewhere. We can't see it at the moment because I think Jolly mentioned earlier because of the the dust in the air at this time of year, which is a bit unfortunate. But maybe in the morning, um, it might be a bit clearer. Um, I think we're going to get company for dinner. Uh -huh. um, there's a shepherd with his flock coming, but yeah, we're going to cook dinner now. One of the things I did at Sandra's was service this. This is our petrol dual fuel cooker. Um, great units but it had been sitting obviously at Sandra's for um, a long time unused so what can happen is these generators get built up with um, gunk so usually changing generators is pretty easy but I didn't realize but you can actually buy a whole assembly so when we're back home uh, bought not only the generator but this whole section here so it was a quick just change out of the whole thing bought the new pump too and now with all that done hopefully it just it um, works for another 10 years at least. Day one down and it is so good to be back on the road. Getting the trophy into Armenia was no easy feat. Catch the next episode where we find trying to get it out is also not so easy. Thanks for watching. See ya.